Hi guys, how are you doing? So welcome to another training of the League of Champions. Um, we've had trainings, you know, and um, I upload them mostly on my YouTube channel. Okay, if you want to find out more, uh, or if maybe you missed any of the trainings or you just signed up, you can go to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, um, I'll put it in the description of this video or you can just type promise Breno. Promise and Breno is B R. E and O. Okay. Now in this business called network marketing, all right, um, this there's, there's something we call financial freedom. Okay. I don't know if you if you're hearing it for the first time. Uh, financial freedom is, is a point in which you have enough money that no matter how much you spend, you still have enough money in the bank. You still have investments that are generating cash flow. So no matter how much you spend, you don't go broke. That's what we call financial freedom, okay? No matter how much you spend, no matter your expenses, you still have money. It does not affect you. Your expenses does not affect you. That's what we call financial freedom. And um, especially if you're from Nigeria, you know what, what I'm talking about? Like, there's so many expenses. And um, you see that a child has a lot of responsibilities. He has to cater for his parents. He has to cater for his siblings. In fact, if you're married, you have to start catering for even the siblings of your, of your wife, <laughs> you know, distant nephew, people who claim relationships. So there's a lot of burden on us, especially because of our culture. There's a lot of burdens. And our culture depicts that automatically um, children are supposed to take care of their parents, isn't it, at old age, you know? So you see, there's a lot of responsibilities. Now, if, you know, if you're, if you're just doing a normal job, salary job, it's not enough. I'm telling you, even one million naira is not enough. If you, if you start getting one million naira now, I bet you, before you know it, it's finished. Because when responsibility see money, sorry, when money see responsibility, uh, the money will bow down now. <laughs> you know, it will bow down. I'm telling you. So this is what it is about. This is our business. It, it is a pathway to financial freedom. All right. And I'm going to be running you through um, in some of our meetings, I'm going to run you through all these ways, how to attain financial freedom. But that's not our focus today. Our focus is what is the greatest enemy or what are the greatest enemies to financial freedom? There are two of them. Right. Number one is fear. Number two. Lack of consistency. If you can eliminate these two things. Believe me, the sky will be your starting point. Believe me, you're going to blow. Yeah, you're going to blow. If you can eliminate these two things. If you can eliminate these two things, you will become unstoppable. Nobody will be able to stop you. All right? The, 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 thing, is, the thing is, the problem is that a lot of people fear. You know something? If you're, if you're a Bible student, Job said something in the Bible. He said, what I feared the most has come upon me. What I feared has come upon me. And you know what? It actually came upon him. Yeah. What you fear is what you attract. See? Whatever you fear is whatever you attract. Listen, if you want to overcome fear, you have to face it head on. We are humans. Sometimes we feel afraid, but don't allow it to, to determine your decision. Don't allow it to control your life. Face it head on. Because that fear is temporary. If you can face it, I'm telling you that in few, in some, in few moments, okay, you, you start feeling um, brave again. You start feeling confident again. That fear will just disappear. Do you understand what I mean? That fear is a feeling. It is not real. It, is, it can only be real if you accept it and you start dwelling on it and you start, have, you start thinking about it, then it becomes permanent and it starts um, destroying your life. But once you have that feeling, once you have that suggestion and you reject it and you, 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 you put your mind, you put your mind on the, okay, you know something, the something I talked about when I, when I, when I, when I, when I did training on setting your financial thermostat for success. Now there's something we call financial thermostat. Your financial thermostat is like, okay, can you see this thing at my back? This. So here in Europe, we use this. 
it's in almost it's in all the buildings okay almost all the buildings this hits the room all right and it hits the room based on the degree in which it was set like for, for example here i can turn it here i can change the voltage here i can change it here and um if i take it higher it get, it gets higher the room gets hotter or warmer if i if i if i reduce it completely this room becomes very cold as it's just be like outside because right now outside is very cold the last time i checked was minus 7 minus 7 degree okay and it's, there's a lot, there's a lot of snow outside or if you see, if you, if you saw the picture i uploaded on my whatsapp status you see that there's a lot of snow on the ground so this thermostat so let me let's look at it as a thermostat it gives um, heat based on the adjustment based on how i control it okay now it is the same with finances until you set your financial thermostat for success the, there will be a limit to how much you make you find out that you're just making a particular amount of money and you're not you're not crossing that limit you find out that if you're somebody that at the end of the month you only have 200,000 until you set your thermo financial thermostat to high, you know, to something higher, you remain in that position. You might go a bit higher, probably 200 and something thousand, but you still come back there because there's something wrong because you've not set the, the thermostat. I don't know if you understand. This thermostat now, for example, now that it's set like this, if I open the window now, if I open this big window now, cold will come in, right? Cold will come in. It will reduce the temperature a little bit, but after a few minutes, after like maybe an hour, it will still come back to the same, why? Right? Because it is what I said here. Do you understand what I mean? So um, a lot of people, they feel like, okay, um, that the financial thermostat is not set for success. It's, it's not high, it's still the same, but they went and did something new, maybe some side job and you know what I mean? And maybe an increment in salary. So it looked like it increased it will still come back. Why? Because in your mentality, that is what you say that you, you can have. That's what you, you that's what you have um, that's what you have accepted that you're going to be having every month. Do you understand what I mean? And all along, all your budgets have been centered on it. Do you understand? So that's the financial thermostat. I just I just wanted to explain it for those who have not watched the video or who are into the training. But then let's come back to our, our topic. So fear is temporary. Fear is temporary, okay? Listen, if you aren't willing to work for it, don't complain about not having it. So right now, I want you to overcome your fears. Start overcoming your fears. What is it that you fear about? What is it that you fear? You fear that you can't get prospect. You fear that um, nobody's going to join your team. That is a problem. That is why a lot of people are not successful. So the, the main things you need to work on now, right now, and what I'm telling you in this training now is, listen, work on eliminating fear. Work on overcoming your fear. Just overcome it. And how can you do this? Declarations. Declarations. When the fear knocks at the door, declare that I, I cannot be afraid. I refuse to be afraid. Yeah. Affirmations, we call them affirmations. For example, when I wake up in the morning, before I, in the night, before I go to sleep, or even when I wake up in the morning, you know what I said? Listen to what I said. I say, <laughs> I'm so happy and grateful. I say, Lord, I'm so happy and grateful now that I'm a billionaire. I'm so happy and grateful now that I have, now that I have attracted top leaders into my business. I am so happy and grateful now that I'm a um, now that I'm a, I, I am a vict I am a victor now that I'm more than a conqueror now that I've gotten this now that I've gotten this now. listen I say it like it has happened that's faith you see I say it every day so you that's why when people when you see my life it's not coincident that I'm getting these results because that's what I believe that's what I declare I've overcame the fear the fear is not a problem for me. Do you understand what I'm saying? You need to overcome that fear. The distance between you, okay, and that success you want is that fear. Fear is one of it. 
So I'm going to talk about the next one, which is lack of consistency. Okay, I'm going to talk about lack of consistency in a minute, in a moment. But fear, you need to strive to eliminate fear. Please do everything you can to eliminate fear. It is not a good thing, okay? All right? Fear is temporary, as I said. It is not forever. If you don't overcome that fear, you end up in regret. And regret is forever. Fear is temporary, okay? But regret is forever. So please work on your fear. Overcome it, all right? The next one is lack of consistency. The thing is, right, I made a video also. Um, you need to master the art of finishing strong. You need to master the art of finishing well. Um, I, I believe that about 98% of people don't start what they finish. Just about 2% start what they finish. Yeah. Not everybody who went to school, who started going to school, finished. Not everybody who started a business finished. Not everybody who, not every couple who, um, who started a marriage finished it. A lot of them finished in divorce. When I mean by finishing in marriage, I'm not talking about divorcing. I'm talking about getting to that optimal level of marriage in, in which you, know, you are excelling. You keep excelling. Same in business, not quitting. So I'm not talking about like quitting. I'm talking about, um, they say, at the end of your days on earth, you know that, yeah, I finished well. Just like Apostle Paul said, I fought a good fight of faith. I've kept the faith. I finished well. All right? Do you understand? I'm looking forward to my crown because I deserve it. I paid my dues. That's what Apostle Paul said. So that's what I'm talking about, finishing strong, finishing well. And one of the reasons why people don't finish well is because of lack of consistency. Listen, whatever you start doing consistently, very soon you start doing it conveniently. I'm going to say it again. Whatever you do consistently, sooner or later you do it conveniently. It, it will become um, easy for you. Yeah, you know, listen, I always say, when people say that they have a habit, they have this bad habit, if you want to overcome bad habits, right, you need to learn new habits. How do you learn new habits? When you're learning new habits, it's, it's difficult at, start, at, the, at the beginning, right? It's very difficult because at that time, your body system, your, your mentality is not used to it. You, you feel like, you feel bored. You do understand? It's just like um, somebody who is smoking or drinking. Whenever they don't smoke or drink, they feel like they're going to die. But they won't, they're not going to die. They're not going to die. If they don't drink or smoke, they won't die. But they do know that if that person who, who smokes avoid that pack of cigarettes, just like force himself to avoid it for one month, do you know that? At a point, he'll get used to it. He'll get used to not smoking again. Do you know that? Especially if he now gets other things, an alternative, a substitute to cigarettes that is healthy. Do you understand? Now that's it. So in this business, we have books. Okay, I told you I'm going to, I'm going to be sending you a book called Your First Year in Network Marketing. I'm going to send it to you. All right? We have books, we have materials. Now, um, I'm not saying that you should study all the materials all at once, no. I know that you have, you have other things, you have other engagement, you have family things, but then you need to be strategic. Say that, okay, in this month, I'm going to read this book or these books. And not just, not just about reading them, but applying them, okay? But applying them. Listen, knowledge becomes a waste if you don't apply it. So you need to apply the things that you've, you've read about. You need to apply the things that you've seen. You've seen. So um, you need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. It's not about just um, doing something. You know, that, you know, a lot of people, that initial gra, -gra um, they just start something and they're excited, excited. Before you know it, they just it will just the slow the, the pace will just be slowing. It's just like um a little a little child 
when a little child is taken to school for the first time, you know, the child is so excited to meet other children, to play around. But after, when the child starts growing up, you see that the child starts uh, losing interest in school. See? Start losing interest in school, in learning. Why? Because that's how um, this, all these things are, uh, um, um, uh, you know, external things that just come into, um, they're in our environment. They're not in our um, mechanism. They're not in us. God didn't create us with this imperfection, all right? These things are in the environment. We see them around. We see um, there are a lot of things that distract us. That's a problem. There are a lot of things that are, tend to kind of, um, you, know, you know, pull us back, not to concentrate, not to do that thing that we are supposed to do consistently. You see, this thing, one thing about network marketing is that if you're a good network marketer and you're consistent, your life will be excellent. Your attitude will be excellent. Why? Because that's what we call personal development. This business is a platform to personal development. It helps you in your personal life, not just about the business. So this is why I always tell people, don't put your mindset on the money you make in the business. Put your mindset on value. Stop pursuing money. Stop pursuing value. Because you know what? There is money inside value. Money is inscribed inside value. So, do you understand what I mean? So if the people you're working with have the perception that you're only working with them because of what you're going to get from them, then they'll start running away from you. This, this is natural with human beings. When you're working with somebody and you feel like this person is, no, is only working with me because of what you get from me, because he's taking advantage of you. Just say, this person wants to take advantage of me. Do you understand? But when people see genuinely that you are interested in them growing, you are interested in them succeeding, just like I am interested in you now. I don't care about, um, like, I'm not getting anything from you, but, but, what, but I'm, I'm, I'm interested in your success. I'm adding value to your life. And that way, money will come. Do you understand? Do you understand the, the logic now? That's, this is the mindset I want you to have in network marketing. Remove those mindset of uh, this one, this one. No, no. Put your mindset on value. But you can't give other people value if you don't have it. This is why you need to learn. This is why we have trainings. This is why we have, we have books. This is why we have millionaire school twice a week. Um, uh, Covenant, I'm going to be briefing you on our activities, weekly activities. Okay, and of course, as I as I said, I'm going to send you the first book to read, to read which is the, your first year in network marketing. This book, if you want, you can even go and print it out, so that if you prefer to have like a carbon copy, like a printed copy, you know, because some people just prefer to have a physical book than online book. You understand? Also, I have um, audios. If you want audios, also if you want audio for the book, I can change. I can convert it on my computer to audio, I can do that online and I'll send you the audio. So you listen to it. Some people prefer to listen to books than to read it because when, when they listen to it, it will, it will be faster for them and they will concentrate more, you know? So it depends on what, what works for you. So you, you either have to be a reader or a listener. Okay, so um, either of the options are okay. Just know, just know what works best for you. Do you understand? Do you understand? So these two, um, these two enemies of financial freedom try as much as possible to overcome them, overcome fear and overcome lack of consistency. Listen, consistency is the mother of invention. Consistency is the mother of success. You cannot separate success from consistency. Whenever you find success without consistency, that success must have been stolen and you will soon lose it. The people that acquired it will soon lose it because it, it was gotten by, by crook, by crooked means. There's always consistency. If you look at great men, I'm talking about great men, like um, um, genuine great men, they are very consistent, very consistent. So when I say I'm going to have a meeting today, I don't care if I've eaten or not, but I'm going to do it. Because if I don't eat now, I'm not going to die. So you see? So that's how, that's how it is. 
So when you say something, be a man of your words. Not like you say something today, tomorrow you say another thing. So you need to be honest too. Honesty is very important. In one of these uh, trainings, we're going to talk about honesty. Yeah, we're going to talk about honesty. I'm going to prepare something about honesty. But what I wanted to gain today is these two things. Okay, I'm not going to waste our time. I just want you to have these two things on your mind. Overcome fear, overcome lack of consistency. When you want to overcome a lack of consistency, go mad. Mad means massive action daily, massive activities daily. Go mad. Go mad in studying the materials for the business. Go mad in attending our, our weekly activities, whether it be it training or millennial school. Go mad in listening to your, to your upline. All right? For example, I am your upline. Go mad in listening to them. Because if you want to have what your upline have, you have to listen to what your upline has to offer. Follow who no road. What to follow determines, who you follow determines what follows you. Yeah. In life, who you follow determines what follows you. So um, I'm going to be stopping here. I just wanted to make it very brief. You know, um, if you have any question, now is the, the, the floor is open. Feel free to ask me questions. So I'm going to unmute everybody and you can ask me questions. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. I really enjoyed the program, and it's um. I think it's a privilege um having you as my as my upline as my mentor. I told you earlier that um, with regards to the business um, I don't see much things that um interest me there, and I'm not someone. I'm not the type that I I I I believe in what I hustle. I I work out and achieve, but the trust of a being with you and being connected with you, that's what interests me most. I think being with you, I'm going to learn a lot, you know? And um, I, I, some of your programs I saw both on um, YouTube and all the rest. I think if I'm with you, I'm going to, you know, my, my way of life, wasting of data on posting some things that is not relevant. Most of those things is going to be something that is going to be adding value to my life and um, to my future. So that was what uh, interested me, interested me most. So I really enjoyed the, the program. And, and I believe that more is going to be more interesting and all the rest. It's yeah. nice. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for that compliment. And I'm glad you took that step, that decision. You know, um, sure, sure. sometimes we don't know the, um, the implication of the decision we made. Um, a, a lot of times people don't even, uh, what, they are, what actually made them to take that decision is actually something different. But along the line, you see that other, other areas of life, other doors now opened, get sure. it now open to them. So um, I'm telling you that you working with me, you'll never regret it. Like I'm, sure. I'm a man of my words. I'm very honest. I'm very open. You know, um, you, you, can, you can virtually know my interests, like from knowing, from following me on social media, you know, the things I do, you know, like, um, I'm, I, you, know, the, you know that I'm strategic about what I do. I'm consistent. So, and um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm glad that you chose to follow this path and I will do everything I can to help you reach to your, to get that desired thing you're looking for, that desired goal you want in life. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Benga, do you have any question? Benga, are you there? Okay, anyway. Yeah. All right. So, do you have any question? Um. Okay. No. Uh, I will talk to you privately. Uh, oh, so all right. Privately. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. okay um. Right. So the other, other, the other guys in my my team, but they are not here in this meeting. So. Okay. Anyway. Um. But anyway, I'm gonna post the video. I'm gonna after this because I'm recording it. So I'm gonna post. Sure. Um. I'm going to put it on YouTube. Then I will share the link on the on the group on the WhatsApp group. Then uh, you can also rewatch it again, provided probably you want to, um, you know, because it's always good to repeat. When you repeat things, when you repeat things, you become an expert in it. When you listen yeah. to things repeatedly, you become an expert in it. Yeah, so I'm going to post it also for other people who aren't here, so they will be able to watch as well. Okay, uh, I'm not going to waste your time. So um, we're going to draw the, uh, the cutting close. 
Um, I appreciate you for joining. And for those of you who are watching on online, who are viewing online on my YouTube channel, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you enjoyed this video, click the like button and ensure that you share with somebody. Okay. All right. Till next time, have a great day and happy holidays. Bye-bye. Yes. It's nice having you. Yeah.